me just go grab my phone. I want to quickly see the water. Back. He's not feeling good about it. I don't know. I kind of want to just like wet a line just to say I did. <laughs> Come all the way out in Switzerland. I can fish from the, from the shore. Man, it's beautiful out here. Chase, <laughs> welcome to the River Sense. So you so, said the water doesn't look good, does it? Yeah, so uh, it's a bit unfortunate. Uh, the water's high. As you can see, it's discolored as well. Uh, it's uh, certainly not great conditions. And uh, well, especially right now, the river's running at about uh, 25 cubic meters per second. So we ain't gonna cross the river. Um, but we're still gonna go along the bank. Just to give you an idea about the size of this river can reach. Huh? Right now, as I told you, normally I fish this river. In summer, it may, might get as low as three cubic meters per second. So glass clear, very low water. Just slow. Every fish is visible, literally. I know you said it's uh, not a good day for fishing, but came all the way from Chicago, spent the this past week in watchmaking rooms, staring at little tiny things all week. I'm just happy to be out here. Exactly. Uh, it's beautiful. Uh, we probably won't catch anything, but you know what? Got to try. So Chase, let me tell you a story about this interesting find here. So it's a blind, eh? it's not, it was never sharp. Uh, it's just to practice ammunition. You can see it's hollow inside. Eh? So there's, there's no danger that this thing would explode. Otherwise you have to be careful. I eh? would finding stuff like that. Generally you don't want to touch it. Uh, but I know about this river, this is common. You find these and the reason is why this place, so nowadays, is a UNESCO World Heritage Place up to, I can't tell you exactly when, I'd say 70s, 80s of last century. This whole riverbed here was the practice ground for the Swiss tank divisions. That's crazy. So yeah, not very nice, but you know, at least it was a long time ago. Would you dispose of that? Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take it home and yeah. trash it. So you remember I told you about the Swiss Army practicing here, huh? All this? Now you see, yeah. Uh, all these holes. That's machine gun fire, huh? Spring fly fishing in Switzerland is uh, a little more snowy than expected.
10 minutes ago it was sunny. 10 minutes before that, I'm pretty sure it was raining. <laughs> Which is just frankly hilarious and fun. It's all part of why I love being out here. Well, hey, you've, I mean, you've really done as as good as it was possible today, I must say. Well, I appreciate it. I pulled my hat of you. Well, I appreciate Most that. Most people would have, after, uh, you know, after an hour, said, I want to go home. <laughs> I appreciate that. It's too pretty out here. You know, here. that's a real fisherman. I mean, in the end, you know, that's how it is. You know, for me, had I come here alone this morning, I wouldn't have done this. Sure. I would have tried too. You know, you're here already. What the hell? What do you have to lose? 